hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i realize that i've been very absent recently and there are lots of reasons as to you know why that is and i'll be releasing a lot of videos explaining you know where i've been you know how terms been and a few kind of challenges i've had to face over the last few weeks which have been quite tough and yeah in between kind of managing all that i haven't had much time to film so today i'm feeling you know more kind of positive i've managed to get some things in place and i thought i would just film a kind of day in the life that isn't too intense it's kind of just got lots and lots of things going on and then I'm, my plan is to film another video at the weekend when i'm gonna get lots and lots of work done it's the 18th of november today and i don't have any lectures today but i'm going to be trying to get on with some example sheets and just kind of going over lectures and lots of different things um, i've got a doctor's appointment today so when i go there i will be showing you kind of the scenes of cambridge hopefully on my way so my plan now is to go to the mcr which is the postgraduate common room i've been studying in there a lot recently because it's not too overcrowded so i've been studying in there recently so i'm going to go there now and start a bit of studying before i have to leave for my doctor's appointment and i also have a formal tonight as well i haven't actually been able to go to a formal in quite a while so this is the first one that I'm going to and I'm really looking forward to it it's a Thanksgiving formal for postgrads because we have a lot of American students um, three of which are like my best friends so we're kind of celebrating Thanksgiving tonight at the formal and yeah it will be a nice kind of break away from everything that's been happening over the last few weeks so if you're interested in what has happened then subscribe to my channel and yeah hit the bell button so you don't miss out on that video it's gonna be a very juicy video so, so um keep your eyes peeled for it it's been one hectic term we've got two weeks left of term and my plan is to try and you know get things in order and just keep going so yeah um, i'm gonna go to the postgraduate common room do an example sheet for my astrophysical fluid dynamics lecture module and it's a module that i'm really really enjoying this semester it's very cool very mathematical but also very physicsy as well um and yes yeah, it's, it's taught by a really good lecturer and um, yeah just really really enjoying it so i'm gonna get kind of sorted with that example sheet make a start on it and yeah have have a good and positive day Okay, so I am in the postgraduate common room and I'll give you a bit of a tour actually because I'm here early. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a tour. Yeah, so I guess the first thing, all these picture frames on here are my college and the postgraduate community and they're kind of all around the room, some even all the way over there. We have a nice skylight as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, and then we basically just have couches. So most people will study on, well, I mean, they'll either sleep or study on the couch. Um, and we've got these tables. I moved that there um, because I have ordinarily been studying in this corner here, but there's something nice about having a nice seat to sit in. We have a PlayStation and things for people when they want to play games, um, but it's very kind of quiet in the postgraduate common room, quite surprisingly. Um, kind of I suppose perks up a bit when we have events and things but during the day it's a very nice quiet study space so yes we do have a blackboard but the chalk we have doesn't seem to write very well so we have these kind of like little things that you can stick on the wall um which you can then write with um yeah and then kind of more seating areas it's a bit kind of chaotic in here really we've kind of had like so many different seats and stuff um yeah and then we have kind of study area here um, we have our own foosball table which has only just been brought in which is quite nice and I'm getting better at foosball which is quite good and then through here we have the hallway this in here is our kitchen so we have our own microwave fridge a fan that likes to go off um, yeah so and like plates and things so you can make a cup of tea have a coffee 
yeah, it was just nice, kind of like a friendly feel. And then, uh, and then this door is just the toilets, all gender toilets. And then that leads you back outside to where I just came. And then we've got some more kind of photos on here. It's insane. Um, yeah. So that is the postgraduate common room. Yeah, I'm very fortunate that not many people kind of study in here. Um, the people that do are my close friends, which is really nice because we kind of, we're a group where we can just study and just kind of crack on our studies. But then when we need a break, there's a foosball table right there and it's just ideal. Because something that I've realized is when I study in my room or in the library, I don't take breaks. And that is the worst thing to do. Um, and even when I try to take breaks, I'm still constantly thinking about the work that I'm doing. So being in here and being able to literally take a break, talk to your friends and just take your mind off it is, yeah, is something that I think I've realized I need. <laughs> um, and that's, yeah, taking, like when you don't take breaks and you're constantly working, you burn yourself out and yeah. So being in here is very productive, which is good. So yeah. Um, it is nine o'clock, exactly nine o'clock now. I'm gonna get my workout, uh, do a bit of work for an hour and a half. So my, my astrophysical fluid dynamics sheet, which I can talk through because some people have been commenting on my video saying, well, one person did, saying that they want to learn about the maths I'm doing. You know, we're here for the maths, we're not here for the food, I think the, the, <laughs> the, uh, the comment was. Which, fair enough, you know, completely fair enough. I've just kind of decided that I've, I'm in, the, in this mindset of, I don't know whether to film maths and then it just be applicable to math students or film general stuff so it's applicable to everybody but you know people want math so i guess i will talk about the maths and if you don't want the maths then just skip forward <laughs> uh, <laughs> a minute or so yes so i'm gonna get set up and then i'll talk to you through i'll talk you through what my example sheet is okay so i've somewhat got set up in there um yeah so the problem sheet that i'm doing i'll talk you through what like the first question is to do with so um, the first question, and this is something that we've been recently learning in lectures, are shock relations. So I learned shocks uh, in my undergrad. So if any of you have heard of the Mach number, that plays a lot into shock relations. And it's really, really cool because we're learning about shocks, but in astrophysical you know, sense, which is really cool. So basically you have something like the sun that emits solar wind. Okay, we have solar wind. Um, and basically the, this solar wind will kind of flow through the solar system and it says here flowing un unimpeded through the solar system for billions of kilometers the solar wind extends far beyond even the region of pluto until it encounters the termination shock where its motion slowly slows abruptly due to the outside pressure of the interstellar medium so it's this termination shock that we're learning maths behind so it's really really cool put my camera cut out basically this first question is on shock relations and we're looking at shock relations in a perfect gas so if you're interested in kind of what shock relations are then have a little bit of a google um but that's the first question that i'm going to do today and i realize i've just been talking a lot about maths but it's so so cool and yeah this this module i'm i'm really really enjoying so i'm gonna be showing some equations and show that a shock you know this happens across a shock for a perfect gas um, and also looking at the entropy change through a shock which is really cool so that's the first question and i'm gonna get on with that now i've got an hour and a half now before i need to go to my doctor's appointment so yes Cue some time lapses of uh, me doing some work. I think I've managed to reduce the system kind of mathematically to something that I can now solve and, and look at because with shocks, we're looking at kind of discontinuities over the shock kind of jump seeing how quantities change over the shock jump. So for example, we have the, uh, the density times by the velocity at either side of the shock equals each other. So we have like this conservation um, between the shock. Um, and yeah, so things are written a little bit like strangely mathematically in the question, whereas I've reduced it into something that makes sense. Um, I've substituted in quantities for if it's a perfect gas. So we have certain conditions if it's perfect gas. Um, and managed to reduce the system of the equations into something really, really nice. Um, and now it's going to be just doing some, um, I guess, lots of, I wouldn't say simultaneous equations, but you've kind of got these three equations that you then need to deduce certain factors from.
ne you never say as long as you have your teeth. <laughs> Yay, man. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Back to math. I'm in my bathroom, um, <laughs> change your outfit, change your everything, um, yeah, so I need to put my makeup on, which is why I put this really baggy top on, um, so my makeup doesn't ruin my dress straight away, um, but I thought I would just talk to you a little bit while I'm putting on my makeup, kind of multitask, I guess, because I realised, oh, my floor's mucky in here, my jeans are going to get ruined, oh well, um, yeah, so I realised, like, I kind of tried to film as much as I could today. I took my full on camera to the MCR and then literally after I got, well, in fact, maybe before um, my doctor's appointment, which went well, my blood test went well. It was very busy, like it was so busy and it was <laughs> like, normally I'm used to the MCR being, you know, postgraduate common room, just being full of people like, you know, that I know, that my friends and there were just like new people today and I, I couldn't really get my camera out and be like, smile everyone. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I didn't get to film as much as I wanted, but basically I have managed to do two questions Yeah, so I'd say I've done half of my example sheet for astrophysical fluid dynamics, which I'm really really happy with Just kind of got stuck into it and was like just like yeah I love the math and I'm figuring it out. So the first question was on shocks, which I explained uh, And so, by the way, sorry about the noise. There's a extractor fan in here And then the final question was looking at kind of non-linear um, MHD, which is magneto hydrodynamic equations and seeing how you can basically write an equation of the equation of motion um, and kind of the evolution of a magnetic field how you can combine the two kind of very 
fundamental equations in magnetohydrodynamics, combining those to show that you can actually have a solution for the velocity and the Alsfen velocity as well which is really cool like um it took me a while to figure out i was like why is this term do I, I need to get rid of this term somehow to get the question right um and basically it was that there was a modified pressure so i mistook the capital p for the lowercase p which means nothing i understand <laughs> um but yeah so i'm really happy really enjoyed that example sheet um and we'll hopefully try to get a little bit more of it done tomorrow and then yeah just get organized with it and yeah really enjoying it so i need to put a bit of makeup on but i guess um i will just kind of talk to you maybe a little bit about what's been happening this term whole range of different things just kind of have a little bit of a chat to you because i realize i haven't had much time to talk to you and you know what better time than when i'm putting makeup on i guess um yeah so this term's been quite challenging for those of you that haven't seen my kind of little nightmare video where i kind of had a little breakdown that was great great fun um you may or may not know that i suffer with non-epileptic attacks so i have seizures well ordinarily not often uh, you know not not too often that it would really really impact my life but recently they've been getting really 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 bad and i just haven't been able to stop having them and it's been so awful <laughs> like it's literally been the worst time i think i've ever had it at university which is frustrating because everything else at Cambridge is amazing it's just my seizures were kind of impacting a few things but I'm getting on top of things now and I feel like I'm getting a little bit better kind of put plans in place and my college I literally cannot express how grateful I've been for my college and how grateful I am for my college and everyone here they've, they've just been so wonderful and I'm going to say all this in another video so I will be kind of giving shout outs to <laughs> specific colleges uh, specific people within my college and for those of you that don't know I'm at Sydney Sussex College so if you're thinking of applying to Cambridge then we have a great system here at Sydney Sussex and they've been beyond helpful so yeah apply to Sydney Sussex <laughs> yeah so I am um, just getting all my makeup out and things so yeah term this this term has been quite hard um just because i've been trying to balance seizures and you know that's never something that i expected to happen when i came to cambridge and it's something that has been really really challenging and really tough but i think it's made me definitely stronger you know i feel like i've been through probably one of the worst times i would ever kind of expect oh i can't really see myself i'm gonna have to kneel yeah it's kind of like one of the worst times that i ever expected to have at uni so it's been very challenging to say the least but i'm trying to remain positive for for a long time i was very negative um about the seizures and that's because i was constantly worried i was going to have another one which is understandable more than understandable um whereas now i'm just trying to kind of keep this positive mindset you know enjoy the maths and enjoy everything that i'm doing because i really really enjoy it and it's great like the course itself is like honestly amazing and you know maths that you get to learn and you know for, for a bit of time i kind of lost the little love that i have for maths but because i was it was getting overshadowed by my seizures and yeah now that that love is coming back and that's why i'm filming a video because I think for those of you that probably saw my video where also I can't make I can't do makeup very well so just ignore how I'm applying my makeup. I think for those of you that saw the video of me you know crying and my breakdown, I can imagine that's probably like quite hard for you to watch when I'm used to being such a positive person and you know talking about how much I love maths and love university and love studying. Um, so I'm glad I'm filming this video now so you can see me back and happy and you know hopefully I haven't had a, this is the longest time I haven't had a seizure before. So I'm just, yeah, praying that, like, I'm just hoping that I'm not going to have another one. And this is the start of things getting better. Um, yeah, so it's almost, it's, it's a week tomorrow since my last seizure. So, yeah, just got to keep going and hope that um, I won't have any kind of more awful ones. But kind of in terms of, like, everything else, you know, um, I love my degree. Um, I'm really kind of falling back in love with the maths I'm learning. Oh, you can't even see me. The maths that I'm learning and just everything else. I've made such incredible friends here that I honestly will class as lifelong friends who have been there for me, who have unfortunately had to witness me have seizures, which, yeah, hasn't been the best, I must admit. Um, but they're just incredible, so. And I know, oh, I just whacked my uh, vo vocal cord. Um, yeah, and I know that they watch my videos so thank you to those 
people that are my best friends at Cambridge, so thank you. You know who you are. And also all my friends back at home as well who have been beyond supportive. Um, AKA Victoria. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Wow. Well, I don't think I, I tried to, I've put, fa fa what am I doing, stuttering? I've tried to put foundation on, but it hasn't done a great job. Um, yeah, and then everything else I'm at Cambridge, I'm absolutely loving, so. We're just trying to remain positive, trying to remain optimistic and just have a good time. And that's why I'm going to a formal now because I, you know, I'm proud of what I've got done today. Um, and I've realised more than anything that breaks are so important. And I think after spending four weeks continually having seizures, recovering from seizures, doing work, con just cut this continuous like cycle and not actually being able to enjoy myself, I am taking the most of the fact that there is a postgraduate formal tonight and that I can go and um, yeah so I'm going to enjoy myself tonight um, I'm going to kind of stop talking because I realise I've waffled loads of just rubbish and I'm looking like this but I'm going to film so many more videos when term finishes just explaining everything that's happened at uni you know just <laughs> spill all the details of everything because I realise you don't know anything that's happened so yeah I'll explain everything when uh, at the end of term so I'm gonna get ready now and I'll tune back in with you when I'm all dressed up and ready and then show you a formal and some videos and things yeah and just have a really good night I've had a very productive day today and I forgot to mention I had also a meeting with the head of well-being who is the loveliest woman I've ever met and she has just been so supportive with everything that's happened so yeah a very positive day good lots of work done getting things sorted in terms of my physical health you know with my seizures and neurological um, you know after my head injury so yeah things are positive things are much more positive and i'm gonna go have a lovely evening so i will tune back in when i've got my makeup on am i in focus well i interesting um so because i've been wearing glasses you know I, i've been wearing my migraine glasses for up close and my sit far away seeing glasses i get these pieces of hair here and they just stick out all the time and i feel like even now i've tried to pin them back and I've just got this like bulge behind my ears <laughs> oh well yeah it's fine um yeah so I'm all ready for formal um I've got my gown ready and I guess we'll go I'm actually ready early normally formal starts about 7 30 but they're do they're doing like pre-drinks um kind of like gathering at 6 30 I'm not drinking sadly because I'm trying to eliminate anything that may trigger seizures because obviously I'm struggling really bad with seizures um, so yeah, just a, a quiet one <laughs> for me tonight. Yeah, so um, QA formal, a Thanksgiving formal. Yes. <laughs> okay.